Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what it's like to be tortured, what it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridium? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. of blue jerkins. Interesting. get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. It's a woman's touch. Bet you're sweaty and all that armor. Well, you can. Wouldn't you rather sweat on me? That's it. Get it. Come on, come closer. Oh. Oh. Leave it there. Thank you. Let's go. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... it just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagelbud... Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son is the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten weak. Wouldn't worry about the guard. 
But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's uh, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. We won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare! You look great! You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. 
Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Rules in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that scrawny harlot. Oh, come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? <laughs> Hello, Vivian. No one's pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor, huh? Coward. What a jackass. I'm with you. On a clear day, you can see Milfgaard's banners from the city walls. Past the barn like, on yonder fence, again. the growing cockle <gasps> sits. Brief. I'll come to you, my darling lass, <sighs> soon as I can piss.
Don't you fear the pyre, free? Hard finding work here, you know. With the eternal fire burning and all that. <laughs> I'm a Kraken! <laughs> My, is he ever sorted? Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novograd? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. A god is well aware. You say the promise of the no one is yet. Then I shall return later. How is business? Looking for me, sir. On a clear day, you can see no guard banners. Stay away. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is a beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. No one is yet. Then I shall return later. Time to invest in rubies. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. He's not been seen around town in some time. Word is he's made some enemies. Turned to Joel finally. Must have thought he'd get a second chance. <laughs> A second chance? <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me?
Your voice, unmistakable. Oh yes, those famous witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuven. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's another Stop night with that whore. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. But don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. And then, a colossal boom! Oh, oh no! My words, I'll kick him out. Yes? Nice mask. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my, count! Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, 
When can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. You wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Hard-finding work here, you know. With the eternal fire burning and all that. Care to sit down for a spell? to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? you meet? Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader, simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming?
Miss Miracle, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. The ability's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get ruined. Hmm, doubt it. Come on, come closer. Begun to worry. Everything's fine, though you should probably send someone to clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it, and you must hurry. Said. Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Glad I could help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. What happened at the fountain? It was my fault. I know the, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. 
Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful.